something a little bit different for this video. This is more a resource rather than any kind of entertainment. So no doubt will be boring to most of you, in which case please skip and do not watch this. Unless you have happened to have been thinking of converting a petrol outboard engine into an electric outboard on a tight budget. Part of my reason for creating this video is because when I was thinking of a conversion, I could not find any information about this on the internet. I didn't know if it would be suitable or possible with my very limited knowledge of electronics. As I am very much an amateur with electronics, I cannot advise that anyone do as I do. There are probably other ways, some better and some worse, but I just wanted to share the way I did it giving you more insight to make your own decision. After slowly gathering the parts and fumbling my way towards putting everything together, I am satisfied with the results. The original outboard I purchased secondhand was dead, so I removed the engine, made some brackets and bolted on the motor, which is actually a 48 volt brushless motor intended for a scooter. The motor is coupled to the propeller shaft with a universal joint, locked with a grub screw on the motor end, welded on the propeller end. I was having trouble drilling into the propeller shaft, so my only option was to weld the joint on that end. I believe the prop shaft was hardened steel, but that doesn't sound correct being in a marine environment. Anyway, I just could not drill into it, even with a new bit and low speed. I connect up all the wires to the battery, speed controller and throttle. A video on Teaching Tech's channel here on YouTube helped me a lot as there were no instructions with the eBay motor kit. Link to his video is in the description. Also, how to make SK's video because initially the propeller rotation was incorrect. Link also in the description. Here is some footage of it on the water. This is on a little inflatable dinghy with three people on board. The battery is a 48 volt lithium from an electric bicycle. If I was to do this again, I would probably set up as a 36 volt system instead, just to be a little bit safer. But overall, considering commercially available electric outboards started at around $6,000, including the battery, and I mean outboards, not trolling motors, which are a lot cheaper, I am very satisfied with the outcome. So hopefully this helps someone out there that is researching into this subject. Good luck!